I wanted to talk to you a little bit about mesh. It is one of the most common questions that I get in my practice and something that I definitely want you to be aware of as the patient before we move forward. Now, for those of you that have watched anything on TV, especially late at night or early in the morning, I'm sure you've seen some of the infomercials about mesh. Let me kind of dispel some of the anxiety about mesh. There are pros and cons to using mesh, and this is a decision not to be taken lightly by either you or by us as your surgeons. But mesh, the way we use it in hernia repair or complex abdominal wall reconstruction is done for a purpose. And that purpose is to decrease recurrence. What is a recurrence? It's when the hernia that you have comes back after surgery. And the science and the data around this have shown that mesh decreases recurrence rates by as much as half, 50, 50 percent after surgery. So that's why we use mesh. There are some occasions, especially on small, fairly straightforward hernias, where maybe mesh would not be recommended or indicated. That's what's called a suture repair. And your surgeon can explain that to you if that's the situation for you in particular. However, for the majority of patients who have larger hernias or who have had a history of previous operations, mesh is often used for that purpose, which again is to decrease recurrence rates. Now, mesh comes in different shapes, sizes, and materials. And together, we decide on what is the most appropriate shape, size, and material for you. Oftentimes, that's what's called synthetic mesh, which is essentially sterile plastic. It comes out of a package, and it is thin, soft, pliable, but very, very strong. And this is placed in your abdomen, and we'll talk about where in your abdomen, but oftentimes it's underneath your muscles and it's not something that you would typically feel or know. You can go on with your activities of daily living, and it's usually not something that you'll even be aware of after surgery. There are other occasions where we may use other types of mesh. For instance, some meshes that may dissolve or go away after time, and there are also some that are made out of biologic materials. Think of it like sterile pig skin, which your body ends up growing cells and blood vessels into and makes it its own tissue. And so the purpose of that mesh will be explained to you before surgery as well, if that's the type of mesh that's indicated for your particular operation. At the end of the day, I wanna assure you that the decision for mesh or not to use mesh is not taken lightly. It's something that we use that has science behind it. But we do choose the appropriate product for you and are happy to discuss it further at your preoperative visit.